guys, welcome back to my channel. It is like 3 a.m. after 3 o'clock. I know, I'm talking off this video a little late. <laughs> but I thought I would vlog, you know, today or like a couple days and share all my life with Epilessie because it is officially November. Well, by the time this video goes out and November is Epilessie Awareness Month. And throughout my channel, I obviously talk a lot about cerebral palsy if you run around that is you know my main disability but i feel like i should especially since it's november talk more about like my everyday life with epilepsy and you know it is harder for me to talk about but i realize the more awareness the better and just like sharing my experience even though you know i am only one person i just thought i would do that so yeah, I keep my occasion for my epilepsy, and for the most part, it controls my seizures. I saw sometimes have overs, but in terms of like actually having seizures, I haven't had one. Well, I had like something that I believe was a seizure like a couple months ago, but then I did my doctor increase my seizure medication a little bit, and ever since then, it's been better. So I'm grateful. For that um but yeah i did go target <laughs> i went to target i'll be surprised like no one is surprised i literally live at target <laughs> but i went to target and i'm not gonna show everything in this vlog you're gonna have to wait till next week because some of the things maybe christmas related like <laughs> I literally was not expecting to see anything <laughs> like that in the store. But when I went there, they literally had, like, a good amount of stuff already out. And they were, like, putting other stuff out. And you could tell they were getting ready. And it was, like, amazing. Target was really, like, through Halloween this year. <laughs> we are talking before Halloween. <laughs> it was so funny. And... I just, like, was not expecting it because last year, my mom and I went in, like, November, beginning of November, and they didn't even have, like, anything, like, really. So, yeah, it's only a surprise. Them. But Target was like, we got you, Megan. Like, we know you love Christmas. <laughs> so, yeah, look forward to that video vlog next week. But the main reason I want you to go there is to get the 1989 Taylor's Rosen album. And... I don't have a CD player. <laughs> so, this is kind of pointless, I know, but I want to get it because 1989 was the era that I became a Swift fan. I would say I became a really like big Taylor Swift fan. It was my first concert, Taylor Swift concert I ever went to, and it was like I listened to her music before 1989, but 1989 was the album where I like listen to all the songs not just the singles not just like a song every so often it was special airline I just felt like you know what I really just need to get this album <laughs> and you know maybe one day I'll get a CD player even though <laughs> like what um I used to have a Papa CD player are you surprised I think no one is surprised <laughs> yeah also I am wearing Papa today because Honestly, can you even tell? I feel like the lighting is so bad because of just the fact that it is dark out because it's ring ringing. And also, the we're going to be changed in the classroom. That's crazy. But yeah, I'm wearing purple because if you don't know, purple is a blessing awareness month. I'll show you the other like food things I got that want holiday theme at Target. So... I just got, oh, I got this toilet neck, um, purple, purple, what? <laughs> pink. It's actually like a bright pink. Long sleeve socks because I got a black one like a few weeks ago and I love it so much. Like I would get them in every color. I think they only have like a few different colors. So they really need to get more colors, but it's like the most comfy thing ever. Like... <laughs> <laughs> and then I did get another headband that is also pink. I'm just like in a pink mood, I guess. That's just who I am right now. Um, but yeah, if you don't know, I have another headband that I got that is brown and I just love these so much. So I thought maybe I'll get another color. And 
I don't look like it. <laughs> I always keep at least one of my medication bottles up in my room on my nightstand. At this moment, I have two, but one of them is empty. <laughs> but yeah, I always do that. And I don't know if you can tell, but the wig on these are a little different than the typical like medication bottles that people get because the one that is like baby proof, like I can't like do that well with one hand. So yeah, I have one that is just like this and then it's open like that. So it makes it a lot easier. I remember when I first started on medication, like even before I was taking like my season medication before I got diagnosed, it was just like so hard for me to open the bars with one hand. So yeah, they made that accommodation which is so helpful so then i don't need someone to help me you know when i have to take my season medication in the morning and at night okay i cannot not show you an update of my dresser so i did organize it a little bit oh my god i love having the 1989 album right there cd and then the kind strip cup that i got at the movie theater y'all but yeah it will change in like two days <laughs> after halloween but on this day is uh, technically October, so yeah. Anyway, and then the big thing I did is I organized my book self because I realized in my last vlog, or uh, like a couple vlogs ago, like my book case was like so messy. And I actually still need to like clean it up a little bit, but I organize it so it looks better, at least to me. And I have the Kayla Swift popcorn bucket right there um yeah i like it a lot more i was like looking at it i was like this is making me go crazy so <laughs> i need to change it the one thing i did today <laughs> actually was ogling something so exciting on amazon so i'm so excited and yeah guess what i look forward to December! We all know what December means, but yeah, I'll talk more about that in my next video maybe. I don't know, but I'm so excited. And, oh, one thing I definitely want to talk about that, okay, this is gonna turn into something that is sad, but as we all know, I think, especially, I feel like even if you are not a Friends fan, like we, all know um Matthew Perry from who plays Chandler on Friends passed away and I feel like when I first saw that I can't believe it like I I was in shock I was in shock for a few hours and then I just remember that night so it was like October 28th just a couple of days ago as I'm filming this and I can't believe it. I read his book and it was so good. And I definitely recommend if you haven't seen his book or haven't seen, if you haven't read his book to go read it. Like even if you are not a Friends fan, like you will learn so much and it's just so heartbreaking because he was so young and watching Friends will never be the same. Like I remember yeah, I I don't even know, I don't even have the words. But yeah, I definitely did cry like that night as I was just like, you know, reading things and it's just, it's so sad. Anyway, <laughs> this took a sad turn of events, but yeah, I'm, I know lots of friends again will hit different will definitely hit different as far as today i haven't felt like i had have had any hours so that's good sometimes i don't know sometimes i feel like before i have children i may like feel something or i don't know sometimes i feel like maybe it's because i'm not drinking enough which is a problem i don't drink enough like for me the thing that like increase the chance of me having a seizure is number one is stress 100 percent is stress and then um just making sure i sleep enough i drink enough water and i you know eat enough that's like the main things 
I don't, so my Apple actually, like, I know for a lot of people, like, flashing likes, like, things like that, like, I know, like, sometimes in, like, concerts, for example, or, like, even when I went to the Ellis Tour movie in the movie theaters, like, they had, before they started, they had, like, a land message, like, this may, like, you know, something about, like, Apple Essay, but, like, I have never, like, had a problem with that in terms of, like, likes and it triggering a seizure. So, yeah, that's the layer of background on that. But, yeah, my auras, so, usually, most of the time, is just the aura. I don't actually have, like, something that comes after that, which is, like, this main seizure. My aura is, like, I don't know, it's like, I'm, like, I don't even know how to decide it. It's, like, this, like, pit in your stomach that... I don't know, it makes you feel like, oh my goodness, like, something's not right, like, something bad's gonna happen, like, I don't know how else to describe it, but it's just, like, one of those feelings, and, yeah, fun fact, well, this is not even fun fact, but <laughs> I have always had this feeling, I just didn't know they were all odds, of course, I had my first, like, act, like, not, like, I want to say Aqua Caesar, just like my first like gnome Caesar. Um, so yeah, I had this aura before it and it was like an intense aura and yeah, I just was like, oh my goodness. Um, but yeah, I made a whole video talking about my first Caesar story. So if you want to go see that, I'll put like a card up somewhere. I never know where to point, but, um, <laughs> yeah. And I just think in terms of, like, everyday life, like, there's, like, there's no gay. I feel like, I don't know, if you think about, like, cerebral palsy for me, I don't think about my cerebral palsy, honestly, that often. Because, for me, this is all I ever know. Like, my cerebral palsy, it impacts my right side of my body and my right arm the most. So, that's all I have ever known. And, you know, having to use one hand for most things and, you know, try to use my right hand as this is, it's all I have ever known. So, I don't think about getting gay. Like, when I'm getting dressed in the morning or, like, you know, making my bag, like, I don't think about the fact, like, oh, I only have one hand. Like, this would be faster if I had you know, two hands to use, but I only can really use one. Like, I don't think about that. But in terms of my Apple essay, like, I, it's hard not to think about it. Because I have to make sure I have my medication, you know, in the morning and at night. And if I'm going somewhere, I have to be like, okay, I need to bring my medication if we're going to be out. And it's just like, you know, it does impact my life. And I guess, like, have to make sure I wake up in time. And sometimes I oversleep. That's just a way about me, if you didn't know. Yeah, and, you know, I got diagnosed, I I would say, like, at 21 with epilepsy. So, it was later, but, like, I have always, or, you know, my parents have always known that it could be a possibility because of having a stroke before I was born, you know, having a brain injury, and it's, you know, it was always known. I guess we, for so long didn't see me having seizures and that makes sense because the always I was having you cannot see you cannot see and that's honestly so scary about epilepsy like some seizures like you can't even see and while I'm grateful that I don't have like severe seizures it it so like is scary and just like the unknown not being able to have complete control. I am just someone who does not like the unknown and I don't like the fact that this like I can't control my seizures. Even though there are moments where I feel like I can. I feel like okay, I just need to focus and I won't have a seizure. I'll be fine because I'll be able to control it. But like I have to realize there's only so much I can do and yeah, I realize I've gone on a tangent, but, you know, this vlog is, like, I want it to be a little bit about me, I guess, you know, life with epilepsy for me. Um, it's just, yeah, I remember for a long time, I live in fear of what could happen. Um, if you didn't know, 
um, there was an actor who I actually watched on Disney Channel. I watched a little bit. He was kind of like, I kind of like grew out of Disney Channel from, from most of what he did, but like I watched a little bit when he was on Jesse, Cameron Boys. I, I'm so pronouncing his last name wrong. Um, I'm so sorry, but I didn't even know he had epilepsy. And then when I heard about his passing, I, I can't believe it. Like, it was so, I, it was, I was so scared. I, I guess, you know, when I was diagnosed with, with epilepsy, my doctor, you know, told me, like, basically not to worry. Like, it's, it's very, it's not common. It's, but when you see it happening and you see someone that you used to watch on Disney Channel, and he was so young. He was only a year younger than me. He was actually born on the same, like, his birthday is the same day as mine. But it was, it was, it was just so like, oh my goodness, like, really, one Caesar, and that's it. And I, I remember after that, like, I was so scared to go to sleep. I was so scared that I wouldn't, you know, wake up. And, oh my goodness, this vlog is getting dark. <laughs> This is, oh my god, um, but, yeah, I, it's just, it's scary, a lot of epilepsy is scary, I, I feel like I'm in a better place with my epilepsy and, like, my epilepsy is Johnny, like, for so long, I was just, like, waking from my next season because I didn't know, like, but now, I'm just, like, I can't do that. I can't just wait. I have to, like, trust, you know, the medication's working and do my best. Like, I can't, you know, drink alcohol and I do love beer. I will admit I do love beer, but, like, I, I'm fine with that. <laughs> I'm fine with not having beer, but they do make al non-alcohol beer. Or I like to say fake beer and... <laughs> That's honestly just as good in my opinion, but yeah, and I don't even need to worry about driving, like, because I can't drive because of my vision, but yeah, having Apple's like, does would make it even harder, but I'm kind of, like, in the mood to do a TikTok video of waking the Vogue songs of 1989. I realize I didn't even say anything about the Vogue songs, but they are so good. Here is my OTD, by the way. I realize it is, like, far, so I probably will do the TikTok tomorrow because I feel like it's going to take longer. But, yeah, I'm also <laughs> wearing some Halloween socks because I'm just like, okay, it's literally about to be Halloween. I'm... I have to wear something that is Halloween, but I also get a little purple, and that's the color for Apple Lash Day Awareness Month, which I love because purple is my favorite color. <laughs> Every day. Happy boy, we need to take you on the vlog. You want to bang on the vlog in a little while. Mm -hmm. You want to look at the camera? He says, no. It's too early. I'm camera shy. Honey boy. Let's go out, Oz. Outside. I love you so much. Oh, there you go. He says, Hi, Vlog! Hi, Vlog! There's your friends too, Ollie! Oh, boy! Set the rewind And our team was to give our hands to leave you But now I'm seeing all the signs Yes, this really happened I can't believe it's true I'm just as surprised as you 
these are the tricks we decided to get him. So, actually, we got him one toy. He's kind of picky with toys. So, <laughs> we got him this one that I think hopefully he'll like. And then we got him these twist sticks. And then some peanut butter cookies with real peanut butter. He's going to love them so much. Oh, my God. I would do anything for my... Leah Ollie boy. It's officially Halloween! Or I like to think one day a call I can officially like celebrate Christmas. <laughs> get out my Christmas decorations. But yeah, I'm wearing my Halloween headband and I'm just wearing like a black long sleeve sock. I was going to wear, I have like a couple of Halloween socks, but it's like way too cold for that. So I decided, you know what, I'm just gonna wear a black sock. <laughs> But yeah, and as you can tell from the last clips, my dad birthday is actually today on Halloween, but I don't know, like, most likely his actual birthday is not on Halloween because we rescue him, so they just, like, gave Halloween, like, gave a guess of when his birthday was, so we celebrate every year on Halloween, so yeah. I'm gonna say to give him and just give him all my love and just like spoil him. Not like I do that <laughs> every other day, which I do. But you know, today's guest gonna be a little more of special things. <laughs> but yeah, anyway, I don't have anything like <laughs> when was the last time? time i actually get something special for halloween like probably like years ago but it is like a random tuesday so like whatever but in terms of i don't have any children today and oh yeah just the end of the month so i do have to like send in my invoices and price notes oh another thing i want to say um is so you saw this morning i took my medication and one thing i that when I go when I take showers, so I mentioned this like before, like I use a shower tail and I use it for a couple of different reasons. So one is because of my shower policy, I don't have the best balance. But another reason is because I could like it's very possible I could have a seizure in the shower, and if I'm not, if I'm standing up, that won't be good. Like I won't fall over. So. Having a chair helps helps with that as well. Zoya Laske on my guest, Leah Pumpkin. <laughs> oh wow. Honey boy! Are you lying in the sun? Do you want your toy? I got a toy for you, Ollie boy. You want your toy? I guess we need to take a moment and just say that is it over now is definitely my favorite box track <laughs> on 1989 TV. I cannot stop listening to it on repeat. I have listened to it like so many times. It's not even funny. Oh my goodness, it's so good. It's officially November. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays. I am that person. <laughs> Do you see those pumpkins back there on that sign? It says trick or treat. Yeah, those will be going <laughs> very soon. But maybe I'll be a layer guys and I'll keep them around for a few more days. <laughs> but yeah, I'm so excited to get great for Christmas. Like, when am I not? But I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I really just wanted to open up a, you know, a little bit more about life with epilepsy, especially since it's now November and November is the longest month and I'll definitely definitely be wearing no purple this month but like i always wear purple it's my favorite color guess <laughs> now if you have epilepsy you're not alone i'm right there with you it can be very hard but you are so strong and i guess try to tell myself to take it one day at a time you know there's hard, harder days than others but i guess try to remind myself to focus on the things i can control and not the things I can't. Appalachia, yeah, it can take over you sometimes, but I will never stop fighting. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on post notifications. Follow me on all my social media. I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you very soon in my next video. Bye.